We considered photocopier to be an appropriate heading for this picture. The picture shows a student photocopying pages from a textbook. The participant comments, Being a varsity student, I was supposed to study freely and enjoy my academic years. This is however not the case. The student comes from a poor background and must come by with restricted funding. This is particularly problematic in the matter of textbooks. These are expensive and often change by semester. Money to buy these books is either not available at all or not enough as provided for by bursaries. The student says, I end up copying textbooks from my fellow student and this does not help me that much as some of the information is omitted and this makes me to have a poor performance in my studies at university. This method really affects me because sometimes I use my money for food to copy textbooks. Having no textbooks compromises academic achievement and creates fear. We consider textbook finances to be an appropriate topic. This picture is called Internet Access. This picture displays a student hard at work at a computer workstation. The participant mentioned that he tries his utmost to stay in contact with school and other friends. I quote, I'm also meeting a lot of new friends and that compounds the time that I already spent on the internet. Facebook is a popular medium to communicate with friends. This service includes a chat window that is primarily used to display photos and add comments, etc. According to the student, his problem is that too many of his friends and family stay a great distance away from him. The fact that he can chat to anyone he hasn't seen in a number of years makes him happy. The student admits that the internet takes up too much of his time, but it remains problematic because some people become offended if he doesn't respond to their messages. I quote again, This is a problem for me because I hate to create strife. If things are not going well with my friends, it can also distract me from my studies. We opted for socializing on the internet as a suitable topic. This picture is called Caregiving. The photo shows the participant studying at the dinner table. In the background, a young teenage girl is sitting against a corrugated iron wall, apparently of a temporary dwelling. The participant comments, My life is very much divided into two parts. There is my academic and my role as guardian to my little sister, who is everything to me. There are things that I know that my late mother would like her to achieve, and I want to help her become a responsible person to the best of my ability. The participant leaves home every morning at 5 and is back home at half past 7 in the evenings. He then helps his sister with homework, notwithstanding feeling very tired. The student works on weekends, both Saturdays and Sundays, and endeavors to make ends meet. The little sister is never out of his mind. Is she safe? And what will happen to her if something should happen to him? I often find comfort in prayer. Our chosen topic for this submission was Caregiving Challenges. This picture was the choice of the fourth male participant and we called it Travelling by Train. The picture shows a suburban train leaving the station. For many students with unstable financial backgrounds, transport is a real challenge. To quote the student, Trains are fully packed in the mornings and also in the afternoons, so we always stand all the way from Mamelodi to Pretoria, with people pushing from all corners of the train. The moment I get to campus, I'm so tired that I can't even concentrate in class. The same applies when I have to get home in the afternoon. Trains are also not always on time and can cause a student to miss a test as has already happened to the participant. There are also no money for more reliable transport such as taxis. This leaves the student with the following question. How will I pass at the end of the day with late assignments submitted, less classes attended, tests missed and a lot more? How will I pass? Transport problems seem to be a suitable topic for this narrative. This participant chose two pictures depicting his barriers. We named them self-discipline. The participant opted for the discussion of two related pictures which show A, a student apparently working diligently on his laptop on a study task and B, a student sitting at the desk with his study books but being physically pulled away by a fellow student. 
The participant lamented the fact that he mostly doesn't realize the value of planning. I quote, I plan to study for a certain text. Suddenly my chum come and want me to go with him to watch movies. And because of the deficiency of self-discipline, I go. Consequently, the student often writes tests unprepared and fails. He concludes, It is hard and very mysterious for me to distinguish between the right and the wrong because myself I lack self-discipline, not knowing what to be achieved or accomplished first. The evident topic in this case was lacking self-discipline. This picture was the choice of the last participant and we named it family problems. The picture depicts four people in a seemingly small, cluttered sitting room. As background, the participant mentioned that his father had passed away the previous year. His older brother convinced the participant's mother to rather use the study money which the father had set aside for extensions to their home. When the university opened, the participant's brother-in-law stepped in and provided the money for registration. To quote the student, what is disturbing me is I don't feel welcomed in the family and I'm always thinking about the fact that my mother abandoned me. This makes me feel that I'm not important. I'm useless. I don't deserve to live. We're not thinking of his father. He thinks of revenge on his mother and siblings. He concludes, my life has no direction. Lacking family support appeared to be an appropriate topic in this case. When reviewing the literature, it is clear that many universities experience an influx of students with varying intellectual backgrounds and a diverse collection of abilities, talents, personalities and aspirations. These students come from different social backgrounds which may affect their motivation to learn and study and which constitute their perceived barriers to learning. We use Chickering's model of student development as theoretical basis for the interpretation of our findings on the identified barriers. He identified seven vectors which could act as tools to help lecturers and management to assist students in becoming excellent all-rounders. To quote Chickering, Institutions that emphasize intellectual development to the exclusion of other strengths and skills reinforce society's tendency to see some aspects of its citizens and not others. We believe that by considering the student holistically, that is in terms of academic and contextual challenges, learning barriers could be effectively addressed. We had a close look at the 10 topics which emerged from our photo voice project and found that these could be categorized in two broad themes, namely study barriers and context barriers. These themes are situated in the first two vectors, namely developing competence in study management and managing emotions about challenging living circumstances. Attending adequately to learning barriers as implied by the first two vectors is a prerequisite for the student's progression to the next higher vectors. This requirement and related considerations are discussed in more depth in the article which follows on this presentation. The learning barriers that black students at the University of Pretoria experience were visually highlighted in this presentation. It is evident that universities should change their exclusive emphasis on the academic achievement of struggling students and rather should take cognizance of the student as a human being in the higher education environment. Holistic academic supports initiatives, which could be translated as paying attention to study and context challenges, should play a far greater role to ensure that deprived candidates with academic potential not only enter higher education, but also successfully proceed to a university degree. I thank you for your time. Thank <laughs> you.